Non, tu sais, c'est ça, faut pas que tu tiennes par la caméra. Lâche-le, lâche-le. Tu vois, il s'est fermé tout seul parce que t'allais le brûler. Si tu. Tu vois, quand tu l'as activé, là, si tu le tiens comme ça, là, tu t'es en train de le démolir. Lui, il est son gyroscope, il est tout mêlé, puis là, il force, tu croches. Puis, euh... Comment ça marche? Je l'allume. Ouais, fait qu'une fois qu'il est calibré, moindrement, c'est ça. Tu fais juste l'allumer, puis date hein? Road to the Pio, épisode 15. Aujourd'hui, on est chez Losso, magasin de audiovisuel. Si vous avez remarqué, les deux épisodes précédents, épisode 13 et 14, ont été dif filmés différemment. La qualité est meilleure. Pourquoi? Parce qu'on a utilisé le setup des films. Ici. On a décidé d'utiliser son setup parce que pour les gros événements comme un interview ou un podcast ou un gros festival, la qualité est meilleure. Puis vous, vous les utilisateurs, vous allez pouvoir voir l'ensemble de l'interview et de l'événement en meilleure qualité. Sinon, dans des petits événements, ça va être mon cellulaire. Et je vais laisser Philippe vous expliquer c'est quoi son setup. Donc, présentement, j'ai juste mon appareil photo, mon DSLR, dans le fond, avec mon mini trépied de table. Donc, présentement, c'est un Canon 7D avec un Tamron 18-70 mm. Donc, ça, c'est un des setups que j'ai. J'ai aussi un autre setup qui est un T6i de Canon, qui est lui aussi un DSLR. Donc, pourquoi deux DSLR? Parce que ça donne une meilleure qualité qu'un cellulaire. Présentement, je cherche un gimbal pour supporter de façon avec un moteur électronique ma caméra pour pouvoir avoir des shots plus stables quand je fais des vlogs pour Hugo. Donc, Hugo, il a besoin de moi pour des événements plus d'envergure et aussi pour des entrevues, comme la dernière entrevue qu'on a faite avec qui? C'est qui déjà? Avec Usama. Avec Salut. Usama. On était à quel restaurant déjà? Uh, Rockaberry. Rockaberry. Okay, so, Rockaberry <laughs> um, au West Island à Didio sur le chemin des sources. Donc, tout ça pour dire, on est présentement chez Lozo en train de magasiner pour ça. Et ce que le vendeur m'a conseillé, c'est de 1,7 kg. Et moi, mon setup, c'est 1,8 kg. Donc, ça ne marchera pas. Il faudrait que j'aille peut-être à quelque part d'autre. Peut-être qu'à mon sur Internet, je ne sais pas. Il faudrait voir avec ça. Mais ce qu'il m'a conseillé, ce n'était pas un mauvais choix. C'était un Zion Crane. Mark, euh, le Zoom Crane V2, si je ne me trompe pas. Et ça, ce setup-là, c'est bien pour des mirrorless cameras, mais moi, c'est un DSLR et j'ai quand même un DSLR assez lourd de chez Canon. Donc, ça marche, mais c'est limite et des fois, ce n'est pas exactement comme je voudrais. Donc, je vais essayer de trouver une solution plus lourde, plus solide, qui est capable de supporter un poids plus grand. Je vais voir si on va magasiner un petit sac pour mes choses d'audio parce que c'est lourd de les transporter dans ça. Fait que moi, je vais laisser avoir un petit sac et on va voir s'il y en a ici. Fait que tantôt, on était ici avec Philippe pour voir les gimbals. Fait que si vous venez avec moi. C'était vraiment lui qui nous avait conseillé. Fait que lui il est quand même euh, assez solide, mais ça ne convient pas à la caméra de Philippe. Est, euh, la caméra de Philippe est plus lourde. Hein. Il y a des sacs à dos ici. Donc là, présentement, euh, on est allé magasiner en plus pour un gimbal pour, son, pour ses vlogs parce qu'il m'a demandé de l'aide depuis les deux derniers vlogs pour l'aider à filmer, pas juste faire du montage vidéo comme ce que je faisais d'habitude. Donc là, pour les vlogs, je l'aide à faire euh, de, de la captation et du montage vidéo. Donc là, présentement, on a magasiné pour un gimbal parce que il veut que pour les futurs vlogs, je puisse me déplacer et le suivre. Un peu comme les vlogs de Gary Vaishnock sur YouTube, le YouTuber américain, qui lui se déplace un peu partout et que les gens le filment, soit avec un gimbal ou avec un stabilisateur à poids. 
Donc euh, je magasinais pour ça. Regarde, go, go. Marche un peu plus vite. Euh, Suis-moi, suis moi Hugo, regarde la caméra. Ouais, mais on va lui demander de tester l'autre, voir. Parce que l'autre, la grippe est plus grosse, tu comprends? Tu comprends, la, la grippe de l'autre est plus grosse. Pour cet épisode, on va aussi avoir une, une interview en podcast avec mon ami Jérémy Gripo, musicien professionnel. Fait que ne manquez pas ça. À tantôt. Aujourd'hui, j'ai le grand plaisir d'accueillir mon meilleur ami Jérémy Gripo. Et c'est podcast il va être fait en anglais comme les podcasts précédents. C'est Hi Jérémy, how are you doing? Very good, and you? Good, thank you for you being here. I really appreciate it. From? So today we want to talk about friendship because we, we are friends and your journey to become an experienced musician. Yes. Cool. Um, Tell me about you a little bit. Uh, I'm Jeremy. I'm yeah. originally from Montreal and uh, I'm working on being going towards becoming a professional musician. Cool. And uh, I think it's been almost 10 years we're friends. Almost. Almost, yeah. So like just to let the audience know, we met at, uh, at work. Yeah, so I got a job when I was 15 or 16 at a local fruit store. Okay. And I got put to work with Hugo. <laughs> That was the first time I saw you. <laughs> was a little bit weird, but then we <laughs> we connect, we became friends. And with Ashek or other friends, yeah. we like, and your brother. So we, four, four guys, become friends together. Yeah. And why I'm talking about friendship today is because I believe in 2017, 18, people are... People are, they don't take time to be with their friends anymore. They, they always say they're busy. And yeah, I, remember, it, it, I think with the, all the social media and everything, yeah. people just are more occupied for some mm -hmm. reason. Yeah, and because when you get older, you start having a lot of responsibilities, you know. You have a job, you have kids, and and sometimes you don't connect with your friends. But now you were talking about social media. I think with social media, you can connect with your friends, say yeah, hi. It's, it's supposed to bring you closer to people. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and just going to ask you, what do you think people need to be more, uh, to stay longer, be friends more a uh, long time? I mean, like to be friends a uh, longer time. What well, you, you need a, a, a good connection. Just yeah. enjoy being with each other. Okay. Same sense of humor. Yeah. You just, Commit it just works. Yeah, yeah commitment. and Com It takes commitment. Yeah. And that's why we connect good. We connect better. So we went in a road trip together, remember? Yeah. Uh, three? Last year. Last year, yeah. Last year. And, and uh, it was a life-changing experience. Just yeah. quit. We all Happen to be out of jobs, get yeah. our jobs, and just go. Just go. We went together I, from Montreal to Vancouver, and it, I think yeah, it's basically you have a. We 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 made a plan, but you never stick to the plan. I never stick to the plan. <laughs> I know. Well, from uh, just to let people know, from Montreal to Vancouver is like a three thousand kilometers. Yeah. And we went in a Toyota. <laughs> yeah, Toyota. I think at the at the end the car was done. <laughs> yeah, four guys in a car for yeah. a month. So you know. And it's because we, we we are friends, so we stay connected. We have a little bit of more, a little bit of commitment. Even we stay busy, we connect, and and you know you have your own stuff. I have my own stuff. But yeah. you, know. you find the time to talk and be together. Yeah, that's why I I just want to let people know that you can still be friends a long time with other people, it's like 10, 20 years. The only thing you really need is commitment and do do stuff like go on a road trip and you know yeah yeah and so now that we talk a little bit about friendship i just want to talk about your journey to become a musician yeah. so you went to college you went to cooking school and why well, what happened college i knew it wasn't for me yeah uh cooking school i did it after college but uh i learned that i don't like cooking under pressure for other people. I like prefer cooking for myself at home. Okay. In your own time. Yeah. And uh, after that, I I really decided that I wanted to go for uh, music. Okay, cool. So I went to an audio recording school, RIC, yeah. in Montreal. And uh, it was a very good year. Yeah. Met a lot of good people. Did a lot of, learned a lot of things. And uh, that made me realize I don't want to be the person 
mixing the music or I want to be the person playing the music. You don't want to connect just cables, you want to produce the music. Yeah. But did you finish your... I had a couple of courses left to do mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't finish it. Would you go back? I don't think so. Okay, why? Just why, yeah, why, at, the yeah. at the time it was a, a little expensive. Very expensive, huh? To redo it, but uh, it's just, it's not what I... What you want to do. Really? It's a good background. Good. It's good to know. And let's say you told me one day that you ha you went to uh, audition at a college. And yes. uh, so I, I have applied at Vanier College for the music program, mm -hmm. for classical or jazz, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, for the drums department, I, 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 practiced, I learned all the stuff they wanted me to learn. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I got there and I did it, I guess it wasn't good enough for them. Okay. And I don't know, just going into the audition, it was uh, like a... An una unnatural feeling of just two, three people just judging you on how you play. Mm. And I think for music, which is an art, it's something... Like, you can't judge. Uh, how are you going to judge if a Da Vinci painting is better than a Picasso painting, you know? It's it's its own thing. Yeah, well, people like to judge, you know? And it's power of mm. self. So uh, I ended up walking out of there with my head down. Yeah, we then, uh, affect your confidence. Yeah. Mm. And what did you decide to do after that? After that, I just worked mm -hmm. for several years. Yeah. And now, since a year and a half, I've been at it stronger. At uh, music. Yeah. So, and why do you love music so much? To be, and even that you want to become a professional music, musician. I mean, just uh, there's something so satisfying about it. Mm -hmm. It's not like I, there's nothing else like it for me. So okay. I would rather do that. If you give me any job in the world, I'd rather. I'll always pick that over anything. So he give you like a million million dollars and say don't do music would you do it? No. Would you accept? No. no. <laughs> so really, your passion is music. Yeah. And uh, your favorite band? Do yeah. you have any? My favorite band, the ones that inspired me to start playing music, was the Rush. Mm -hmm. And it's just what attracted me to them is just three guys doing what music they love to play. Mm -hmm. and there's yeah. something so pure and innocent about it. They have this uh, high school spirit, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's just fun to listen to, mm -hmm. hard to play, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. but uh, that's basically what got the wheels turning. And one of them is your one of your one of them is your like a hero for you. Yeah, uh, Neil Peart, mm -hmm. uh, my favorite drummer. He's probably he's one of the best drummers in the world. Yeah, if not the best. And uh, it's just his uh, his attitude towards he life and the music. Yeah, he works was, really hard. Yeah. Yeah. And how many instruments did you play? Uh, two. two. I used to play piano and keyboard. Yeah. I learned like a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and now I use it to write music. Okay. And uh, I'm basically Rocks. a drummer. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And I know that now you uh, start your own band. What's the name? What's the name of your band? Uh, we're called the Unfound. The Unfound. So why? It's it's mysterious. It gets your attention. Yeah, it gets mine. Oh, cool. So just to let you know, we're gonna put put a a link. So people can go and see your Facebook page. Cool.